What is going on guys, Joe with MGRC.com. Welcome, in this video, you got it just because of that thumbnail, the MT8, the rival from Team Associated. So let's go ahead and hop over to pre-orders, put links down in the description below for you guys. I don't have an ETA to when these are coming out, hoping very soon. But the only thing that's really changed with this vehicle is, well, the body scheme, the color of the body. Other than that, nothing else has been changed or modified or anything like that. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and go over to the combo. You can see the new prices here and the previous version. We still have some of those on our website. If you're looking to get one, he's like, yeah, those things are pretty cool. I don't care about the body color. Uh, we still have them. So uh, just enter in the rival MT8 and you'll find it. But I'm going to show you anyhow right here. Here's the comparison of the differences. So you can see this is the new one. There's the old one. Zoom into the old body color here. There you go, and then there is the new body color. So, no big difference. I do like this color better than the previous one. I I like that black and teal, and the white looks good. A little bit of red in there. So, um, let's go ahead and let's go over to this combo one. I want to kind of share with you guys on this one, anyways, is because hey, maybe you're looking, you're just getting into the hobby, and you're like, I want a lipo. And the bat, I want the lipo battery and the charger. Just want to let you guys know this lipo battery and charger you're not getting the full potential out of this truck it's a 4s lipo this thing's capable of 6s power so just kind of fyi on on that one let's take a look at this thing closer it's got aluminum shocks with it it's got a 2100 kv brushless motor the electronic speed controller is 150 amp now as far as there's where the receiver is tucked inside of a little case there the servo from my understanding and i've checked to try to figure out what kilogram this servo is and what's it all about. So don't hold me to this. If by chance you have one of these trucks, the previous version of it, let me know what kilogram servo. Because from what I can see, and I talked to my distributor, we're under the same impression that, that was the charger, um, that the servo is right here, which is a 25 kilogram servo digital, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, 25 kilogram. It's kind of looking at the specs of it and everything. So here's some of the specs. You guys can pause it or whatnot. That's what I'm guessing. So don't hold me to it. I'm, it's kind of weird they didn't give us that information from the get-go, but that's what I'm kind of going with is that is that. All right. Oh, and I did want to kind of show on top of, as far as the, the charger stuff so by chance, you do want the combo pack. Here's what you get. Here's my recommendation, honestly, would be if you do get a charger, if you, I wouldn't really opt for this thing, but if you want to, it's to each their own. I'd really go with at least a charger that you can see what the voltage is for each cell. Now it's got four cells in it. You wanna make sure that each individual cell is charging to what it should be at 4.20 volts, but um, cause this one doesn't give you any, any indication and by chance, if there's an issue with a cell and it's having a hard time trying to get to that voltage, you could have an issue with it, potential problems. So I would really, even if you did with, go with this, I would eventually go ahead and upgrade to a better charger that has a digital or LCD screen. So you could see what those voltages are and to put this thing in storage. I don't know if this one has a storage. It might have, um, it might have it. I don't 100% sure. I don't see anything just kind of looking at it. If by chance you guys have one of these, it's always best when you're done using the battery to put it in storage charge. So I don't know if this one does. If by chance you have one of these, you can leave a comment below like, yeah, that thing has a storage charge on it and, it, and it's good. And if it doesn't, that's not good. All right, back over to, yeah, as far as the rival goes. So it's kind of skimming over this thing. There's plenty of videos out there. So it's not a brand new vehicle. It's been out for a little bit, um, but it is cool. And I did want to kind of compare it a little bit. I do see that this has an ch upper chassis brace. It's got the aluminum drive line to it. Again, that's got a metal gear servo that's in here. Independent suspension is a 1 8 scale four wheel drive or all wheel drive, however you want to look at it. So, wheelie bar. And I looked at wheelie bar and uh, talking to a couple vendors, uh, Red Cat and everything. It, they're pretty, they have a similar chassis layout. I want to kind of share that with you too. So looking here, like the Kaiju. So we can see like the price difference is less expensive than that. So if by chance you were like, 
yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's similar to the same type of chassis or, you know, it's 6S power. Uh, if you're down with this type of body or whatever, you're like, hey, that's an okay body. I'm not a big fan of the, the body itself. It looks a little bit funky and tires. I'm not, I think these tires, these tires are belted where the other ones, I don't know if they, they are or not. This come, so it's got some extra little things here and there, kind of protect it all. And the price is cheaper. So by chance, I mean, we still carry them. So you can always look at these Kaijus as well. I don't think it, it doesn't look like it has the upper chassis brace. And it obviously has a different kind of layout to it. So this is a, probably a little bit longer chassis than the previous Kaiju from, uh, this is the extended version of it. So I don't know if I have, you can kind of see this one, as you can kind of tell here. I know it's a little bit blurry, harder to see, but you kind of get the idea. The layout's similar. But at the end of the day, it's just an, another option. So I just kind of want to share that with you guys, not to kind of harp on as far, or beat up on the MT-8. Just want to kind of share that with you guys. All right, so I definitely appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out again at omgrc.com. Put the links down in the description below for all the cars I just did talk about. So that way you guys can reference them right away. So I will put some extra links in there for you guys. All right. Um, Thank you, and hopefully you guys have a great day. Peace.